A New Mexico state senator is filing a discrimination complaint against the Senate's leader, a member of his own party. He says he's being retaliated against for speaking his mind. News 13's Jamie Seymour is here with the story. State Senator Jacob Candelaria says New Mexico Senate President Pro Tem Mimi Stewart has allowed discrimination in the workplace and has covered for an employee accused of making racist and homophobic remarks. How much evidence is necessary before a government agency head will accept that discrimination against indigenous folks and against queer folks is just unacceptable? It stems from the continued unemployment of Rachel Gujal, a state education official who is accused of making racist comments about Native Americans and an offensive slur to a gay coworker. Candelaria says he and other coworkers confronted Stewart about why she was allowed to continue work, but says they were ignored. In turn, the longtime state senator says his office and seat on the Senate floor were moved by Stewart in an act he calls retaliation for his criticism of her response. Candelaria, who is Hispanic and openly gay, clarified that Senator Stewart was not discriminatory towards him based on those factors. However, he says her inaction against those accusations in the legislature show it's time for new leadership. It just really demonstrates that she's no longer morally or ethically fit to continue leading the Senate in a state that is majority minority. According to the complaint, Candelaria is opting not to resolve the dispute through mediation with attorneys. He says he already made multiple attempts to settle this with Stewart before filing the complaint, and they went unnoticed. As for who will pay for Stewart's defense in this case, Candelaria says that could fall on the taxpayer's dime, but will ultimately be up to Stewart to answer. Back to you. All right, thank you, Jamie. We reached out to Senate President Mimi Stewart for response to the complaint, but did not hear back.